Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all the vehicles in our inventory. We are not a consignment dealership. If you are watching this presentation today on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. When a vehicle is funded in full, that vehicle comes down off of our website, letting you know that particular unit is no longer available. Our YouTube videos stay up at all times. We have thousands of subscribers that like to watch our content, so we never take our YouTube videos down. Uh, we leave them up whether they were shot two days ago or two years ago. Also, check out our Instagram. We're going to be posting vehicles such as the one we are about to present to you prior to them hitting our website. So if you are in the market for a specific gear maker model, you might be able to get a jump on your buying competition. There's also a link there to our gift shop here in Daytona Beach where you can buy hangsters, t-shirts, hats, apparel. We have garage signs, banners, flags, all kinds of cool stuff, all kinds of cool merchandise to outfit your garage or your man cave at home. So check that out. Chevrolet K10, uh, they're extremely popular right now. This one today we are about to present to you is a 1985. Uh, 350, power steering, power brakes, uh, the truck was an air-conditioned truck at one time. The air condition has been removed. Uh, we bought it that way. We're selling it that way. So this is currently a non-AC truck. Let's close the hood and take a look around the vehicle. Uh, there's a lot of things on the truck that are new, a lot of things on the truck that are aged, so we will show you both here. Uh, blue in color, as I stated, uh, does have a center hood scoop, which gives the truck a nice look. Uh, does have an aftermarket grill where the uh, headlights are hidden behind the grill. Kind of a cool look to the vehicle. Uh, the front bumper is uh, probably an older front bumper. Uh, there's no flaking or pitting in the chrome. There's very faint uh, wear marks on the front that you can see there where the uh, bumper is aged. Uh, does have the uh, rear, I'm sorry, lower spoiler there in the front where your front tow hooks are at. That's all in good condition. Continuing around the truck, the body lines are pretty good on the vehicle. Um, driver's side front fender's in great shape here. Uh, there's no blistering or bubbling or fading or cracking in the paint on the front uh, fender on the driver's side. BFG all-terrains on the truck. Again, give the uh, truck a nice, mean look. It's definitely a good-looking vehicle. We've been selling a lot of these K10s. does have the... Uh, Window stripe here across the top of the windshield to uh, shade uh, the sunlight. Uh, the overall condition of the front windshield is good shape. So are the uh, window rubbers around the front windshield. Chrome mirrors on the driver door and passenger door that are collapsible. They're nice and large so you can see behind you. Does have the uh, vent window and uh, driver window cover here uh, at the top, the wind deflector. Door fitment to the uh, body of the truck. Uh, the uh, lines, the body lines are nice on the vehicle. The uh, driver's side door closes nice and flush there to the lower rocker and to the rear cab corner. Your uh, chrome molding there on your drip rails in nice shape. It's not uh, dented up or crimped incorrectly. Take a look in the truck. Uh, armrest is in pretty good condition. The uh, door panel itself is not cracked. Uh, it's all plastic, except for the bottom here where it's metal, painted the same color as the truck, and that's in pretty decent shape. It does have the uh, black textured floor, so if you are out uh, off-roading or mudding, you can just go ahead and you can uh, just open up the door and hose it out. The bench seat in the truck is brand new. We put it in there. The one that was in there was cloth, and it was uh, torn up, so you have a new cushion, and you have a new blue vinyl uh, seat does have seat belts, looks like the original steering wheel, that's in pretty good condition. Dash pad's in good shape, we'll take a closer look at the truck when we are uh, on the test drive at the interior. Uh, all the bezels, you can see in the uh, still photos, the bezels are on your gauges, that's all new. So again, when we're in a truck driving it, I'll show you that a little bit closer. It uh, does have a uh, diamond plate Craftsman toolbox in the bed, obviously that can be removed if you don't want it in there. Uh, we're going to leave it in there for the uh, photo shoot and video shoot presentation. And again, if you get the truck and you don't want it, you can certainly get rid of it. The uh, rear window is tinted and is solid. No slider. 
Uh, side of the bed on the truck is nice and straight. Again, there's the paint uh, low. I don't see any blistering or cracking in the paint. Uh, rear bumper, brand new, or it looks to be brand new. Uh, definitely uh, newer for sure. Tailgate does have a few small chips out of it right there. One, two, three. Um, opening up the tailgate itself, it does have that textured rhino liner uh, look to it. Real nice uh, laid uniform. You can see that there's no rust here in where the tailgate closure goes. Uh, on the uh, corners here, driver and passenger side, nice and solid, painted the same color as the truck. The uh, tailgate itself is rhino lined. Take a look down the passenger side of the truck. Again, the bed is nice and straight on the passenger side. Same thing with the passenger side door, cab corner. There's no uh, bubbles or blisters at the bottom of the door as far as the paint's concerned. Taking a look in the passenger side of the truck, again, the door panel's nice on the passenger side here. Armrest, paint at the bottom of the door. Again, the textured material on the interior, so there's no carpet. There's no headliner either. It's just the uh, uh, cab of the truck's just painted. Uh, I will show you that on the test drive as well. Passenger side fender, nice and straight also. And there's no uh, uh, blisters, bubbles, cracks, anything in the paint on the passenger side front fender. All four wheels look to be in pretty good condition too. This is a full-size K10 pickup truck. It is a driver quality pickup. Uh, it is not perfect. Um, it definitely has its flaws, weaknesses, deficiencies, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's why I encourage you guys to come in person. We did a quick walk around video of this truck. However, if you come in person to our Daytona showroom, we will pull this truck outside for you. We'll let you look at the paint out in the sunshine real close. We will let you put it on the rack. We're going to do that here in just a couple minutes. You can check out what the undercarriage looks like, the bottom of the bed, bottom of the motor, trans pan, suspension components. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the uh, motor performs, how the transmission shifts, uh, how tight the steering is. You can do all that. That way, when the truck arrives, wherever you might be in the uh, United States or in the world for that matter, you know exactly what you are getting because you were here and you uh, saw it and drove it yourself. With that being said, most of the transactions we conduct here in our Daytona showroom are done sight unseen. We do not meet the buyers face to face about 90% of the time. It's all done through email, text message, phone calls, uh, pictures, videos, descriptions, so on and so forth. Uh, we make a lot of people happy. We do the best job we possibly can representing our vehicles as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can. However, nobody's a better judge how to spend your hard earned money than you are. That's why I encourage you guys, please come to our Daytona showroom in person. We'd be glad to show you this 85 K10. Let's take it around the building. We'll throw it in the air and check out what the undercarriage looks like. And then shortly after that, we will drive it. One thing this truck definitely has going for it is the, uh, the undercarriage. It's a nice, solid truck. So let's show you that right now. Uh, you do have a huge set of front disc brakes on the truck. Uh, the, I don't see any oil coming down the sides of the block. Uh, valve covers. I don't see any oil, uh, oil pan gasket wise right there. It does look like somebody has repaired the bottom of the oil pan uh, or caved it in and pounded it back out. It is uh, not leaking and it is functioning and serving its purpose, so we're leaving it the way that it is. Uh, you do have a dual set of headers there coming down off of the side of the block. Uh, the Frame rails on the truck look to be good, both driver and passenger side. Tranny pan there, you can see that clearly. Uh, the transmission pan's not leaking. Uh, transfer case looks to be in good shape. Continuing further along uh, the back of the truck here, you have your uh, passenger side frame rail. Looks to be good. Um, gas tank in good shape. 
the cross member support here running from driver's side to passenger side frame rails in good condition. Do have a dual set of uh, mufflers there on the driver and passenger side. Leaf springs look to be in good shape. The bed of the truck, uh, nice and solid. You can see there's clearly see there's no uh, rust or rot on the underside of the uh, the bed there. Step around the vehicle here and take a look at the back. You do have a uh, trailer hitch if you wanted to hook something up and tow. Uh, the frame rails uh, all the way throughout the entire truck are all uniform, nice and solid. You can see the bed corners are nice and solid there. There's no rust holes or rot holes at all. Let's take a look at the driver's side. Looking up into the light. Yeah, see? Overall, a pretty good looking truck. This is a driver quality pickup. Uh, we showed you the uh, presentation, the walk around presentation in the showroom. We just showed you a quick undercarriage presentation. And uh, real shortly here, we're going to go out and we're going to drive it. These pickup trucks are extremely hot right now. The C10s, the K10s, uh, the K5 Chevy Blazers are a hot commodity. Everybody seems to be wanting the, uh, the late 80s, early 90s uh, pickups and Blazers. It's just it's really popular right now. Financing is available on this particular truck if you're not a cash buyer. We do have three different lending institutions we work with that will lend on this vehicle up to eight years. Uh, they are going to require you put a minimum of 10% down and then the remainder will be financed over that five to eight year period wherever you get approved for. There is no prepayment penalty. So if you take it out for five years and you decide to either sell it or pay it off in two, uh, you aren't gonna get penalized for doing so, which makes it nice. If you're a cash buyer, we accept bank wire transfer, which is the most common form of payment simply because it's there the same day and we can start processing the vehicle for shipment that much sooner. And we also accept certified bank check from your bank. Of course, if you're coming to um, see us in person here in Daytona, we'll also take cash. That still does spend these days, believe it or not. Once the truck is through, uh, once it's funded, we put it through a outgoing inspection process. This process is recorded. You do get a copy of it on the keychain when the vehicle arrives, along with this video presentation you're watching right now and all the pictures we took of the vehicle in the showroom. That's your little keepsake USB, so you always have the pictures and the videos. Once the guys tell me it's through uh, inspection and it's ready for shipment, we call it carry for pickup. Generally, it's 24 to 48 hours to get a vehicle uh, picked up here in our Daytona showroom. And then, of course, uh, shipment time depends on where you're located in the United States or in the world for that matter. If you're coming to pick it up in person on a trailer or to drive it home, uh, we will let you know when the vehicle is ready uh, as soon as it's through that outgoing inspection process, like I said, and you can certainly come get the vehicle yourself if that's what you're doing. Let's set this 85K10 down on the ground. We will take it out in the Daytona Beach sunshine here, and we will see how this truck runs out. Okay, inside our 85K10, we have a tilt wheel. Um, there's no horn, but we do have a horn relay on order, so uh, that's gonna be taken care of. That's no problem, the horn will be functioning. Uh, the aftermarket gauges function, temp 180, 14 volts, and of course your oil pressure at idle. Uh, fuel gauge is working. We did, I'll put 25 bucks in, actually $23 in it, and that plumbed it full, so it's full. Uh, it's working. Um, 98,323 is what the odometer is reading. The mileage on the title reads exempt. I don't know the true mileage of the truck, um, you know. So that's how we're selling it. I don't have any receipts for the rebuild of the motor or the transmission or anything like that. Uh, as I said in the showroom, the uh, cab top is just painted. It's not uh, any kind of headliner material or anything like that. Sun visors are in pretty decent condition. Uh, large sun visors on the uh, truck. Dash pad's in pretty good shape. It's not uh, cracked or anything uh, on the driver or passenger side. Uh, somebody has put a new bezel around all of your uh, gauges here, your speedometer and your fuel gauge. It's all brand new uh, chrome and black around that. Uh, turn signals, driver's side. Passenger's side. So those both function. Um, what else? Oh, wipers. They're awfully slow on a dry windshield, but they do work, and they park back where they should. 
cool stuff. Let's go drive it. 85 K10 driving on the road nice and smooth. These K10 pickups always rode really nice. The K5 Blazers, they ride really nice. You let go of the steering wheel, truck tracks nice and straight. There's not a lot of noise uh, for the uh, oversized tires. Uh, they ride nice and quiet, nice and smooth. There's a smooth ride. The uh, tires aren't vibrating, drive train's not vibrating. Real nice running uh, pickup truck. We'll show you, uh, it does have a little bit of, uh, you know, because of the larger tires, it is a little more, uh, you know, it wants to have a tendency to walk just a little bit uh, when you're steering back and forth. It's not terrible, you know, the, the Broncos are way worse because it's got a shorter wheelbase uh, and a lot smaller vehicle, but this does have a little bit of walk to it with the uh, lift and the uh, tires, but not real bad at all. Brakes stop nice and straight, and they're not pulsating. No vibrations there. Run it up through the gears for you just a little bit. Tranny shifts nice and smooth, just like it should. Pull that window up so we don't have wind noise. Speedometer's functioning and is on the money, believe it or not. Somebody did their homework on the uh, speedometer. It's reading accurately and it's not bouncing all around. 50 miles per hour, you let go of the wheel. Truck's tracking nice and straight. By the way, there is no radio. Um, there was an aftermarket radio in here, like a Pioneer or something, that did not function. Uh, the uh, gentleman that we bought the truck from had this new uh, bezel for around your gauges, so we didn't put a aftermarket radio in here because you'd have to cut this in order to do that, and we didn't want to uh, didn't want to hack that all up. Somebody might want to buy a retro style radio to fit in there, or you may want an aftermarket radio, and you may decide to. Uh, cut it up yourself, but we weren't going to cut a uh, factory uh, dash piece, so there is no radio. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Once again, hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this truck today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, this truck includes shipping in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a 12-month, 12,000-mile powertrain warranty. Powertrain is engine, transmission, and rear end. It is not a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty. So if the oil pan gasket starts leaking, that's going to be on you. If uh, you know you got to put a new battery in it, that's going to be on you. If uh, the starter takes a dive, that's going to be on you. But uh, major mechanical breakdowns of your powertrain, uh, engine, trans, and rear are going to be covered. You don't have to take it to a Chevy dealership. It's good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. So you could probably take it to the same person that works on your daily driver. The price of the truck is negotiable. However, if we negotiate the price of this truck, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. Um, you can, we can help you facilitate the shipping. We can, uh, you know, put you in touch with a carrier who can get the job done for you. Or if you're a collector or a hobbyist that has used a, you know, a shipper in the past you've had a good experience with or you're comfortable with, that's okay too. We do not make any money off the shipping, mark up the shipping. We just provide it as a convenience to our customers. If you have your own uh, trailer or if you're uh, local to us here in Central Florida, you can certainly come to our showroom in Daytona and uh, drive the truck home yourself. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, Florida. Check us out.